Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and I've created quite a bit of confusion. Unfortunately, it's not, my, it's not uh, what I was planning on doing. But yesterday, I showed you some video of the new Chevy Silverado High Country I'm buying. It's a dealership there in Fort Wayne. I just need to get my butt over there and get the truck. And in that video, on the dial switch, it shows the option for four low. This created some confusion. I had the uh, gentleman email me, ask me what's going on. We did some back and forth. We've done some stuff on uh, getting information. And so the right information for you today on some of this confusion happening with a Chevy Silverado and when it comes to four low with the max trailing package or a max trailing package with the off-road package. So combining some stuff together. So I'm going to go to the website because Jill and I, managing editor Jill and I, we spent a uh, couple hours working on the story, trying to get it right because it is fairly confusing. So if you go to pickuptrucktalk.com, you'll find a story called Not Standard. 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500 four low option creates confusion and it gets very confusing. Uh, so, and it really comes down to whether or not you're trying to get packages together and what kind of truck you're trying to buy. So let's, let's go down and scroll down. We'll start with this, the 2023 Chevy Silverado. And I think this actually goes back again to like 2019, if not earlier, come is offered in two different transfer case options. There's a two speed auto track transfer case that says two wheel drive, four wheel drive auto, Four high, four low, and neutral. Okay. The one speed auto track transfer case offers two wheel drive, four wheel drive auto, four high, train mode. There's no four low. I'll explain train mode in just a second. So two wheel drive, just the back tires are getting power. Four wheel drive auto, it's a, uh, a, it's like a, I think it's a clutch in a transfer case. It's electronically controlled that when you have wheel slippage, it'll click that clutch, turn on the four wheel drive hot high basically throughout the vehicle and keep you in a little more comfortable driving around as far as not having to worry about slippage and stuff when the roads get slick you just turn that on four highs basically all four wheels are getting power four low is a separate speed inside the transfer case that allows you more low-end torque allows you more power a little more control and then in the case of the one speed transfer case terrain mode terrain mode according to chevrolet provides improved low speed traction and vehicle control during off-road driving it basically just adjusts the shift, the transmission shift points, auto response, things like that to stop the tires from spinning a lot when you're off-road driving. It gives you more uh, peace of mind pressing this button. So in a way, train mode is meant to counter the need for four low. However, people don't know about train mode. They don't want to use train mode. They want four-wheel drive low. They want a true four-wheel drive low here. I don't blame you, but you can't get it always together. So this is a photo I took online. And if you look at the corner here, you'll see a selector box. Basically, it's a, a grouping of buttons. We have auto, two-wheel drive high, and then we have four-wheel drive high. And then below that, we have what looks like a vehicle on dirt, and that's your train mode. In the high country I'm buying, it shows four low on there as well. So, And the high country has a max trailing package. That created some confusion because trying to figure out which trucks come with four low because you cannot get most of them don't provide both four-wheel drive low and max trailing package. And this is this is kind of crazy because, yeah, if you're a guy and, or a person or woman or whatever, and you're out there driving your truck around, and you want to, like, drop some snowmobiles off trailhead, you want to haul horses around, whatever, you get stuck in the field with the horses in, in a trailer, uh, you kind of want four low. But you can't have both. And especially as, as well as camping off-grid, if you want to pull a camper up, those little small campers, a little kitchen set up, yeah, you can't have both. So when you look at the building price tool, it's hard to figure out which trucks come with four low and maximum trailer package without clicking back and forth in different package options. I spent like a good couple hours working on this. Uh, reached out to Sean, who's a senior manager for Chevrolet Commu Truck Communications, and he broke down through some confusion. He said the max trailering package is available on LT, RST, LTZ, and High Country. However, the Z71 package, which includes a two-speed transfer case and an off-road suspension, Rancho shocks, skid plates, that kind of stuff, cannot be bundled with the max trailing package. He says, this is since these two packages aim to accomplish different things, trailering versus the additional off-road gear. But like I said above, customers are doing both together. So this is, it's just, it's not Sean's problem. It's not Sean's fault. This is higher up in marketing, making some silly decisions. Outside of the Z71 package, he says the two-speed transfer case comes standard on Trail Boss Custom, Trail Boss LT, ZR2, and High Country. So 
the only, the high country is the only trim that can have both four low and max trailing package. Create that solves the confusion I had from yesterday. People coming in that. So yes, the Silverado high country four low and max trailing package. But you can you just can't also bundle the Z71 package at the same time. So I couldn't get Z71 and max trailing package even in the high country because again they say there's two different things, two different goals. All right. So when you look at the uh, we look at the differences. So let's talk about differences. The max trailering package comes with, if I just build it just an LT. This the uh, high country comes at 373. The LT max trailering package comes at 342 rear axle ratio, normally 323. You get an integrated trailer brake controller, and then this system is integrated with the anti-lock brake system. It will provide measured braking force, electronic control brake system, the display trailer gain output on the driver information screen. So right behind it. Right where the uh, the gauges are, that's called the, the DIC, an unfortunate name. But anyways, that's where you can have the, the display, the trailer gain and output there. And then you have the 220 amp alternator because you're running more power, running lights at a camper, that kind of stuff, or whatever you're towing. So you want the more power. You also can get a 7,300 pounds gross vehicle weight rating. This is up about 200 pounds, so you're able to haul more stuff and carry more weight. In contrast, with the Z71, you get the hill descent control. This controls you going down a hill. You basically like off-road cruise, cruise control. Heavy-duty air, air filter because usually off-road, you get a lot of dust in the air. You're getting clogged in the engine, clogged in the air filter. The dual outlet exhaust mounted on the bumper. We'll look at the photo of that and improves the ground clearance. You get that two-speed transfer case with four low, skid plates, and 18-inch all-season tires. So let's look at this because it's, it's really kind of unfortunate. This is how Chevy has done things. But if we go to the Chevy Silverado, and I'm on Chevrolet.com, and we go to build and price. We will see this happen. So, yes, we have different supply shortages, different buttons. You got to click the button. So we go to the crew cab. I'm just going to crew cab short bed. Just make it simple. But if I go in and I say I'm going to select the, the LT, and I'll do the the 5.3 engine, doesn't really matter to me at this point. But if I go to packages, excuse me, let me go first. Let me go to summary. So if I go to summary on this, and I'm going to go down to the mechanical okay if i go down to mechanical it's gonna say i have this single speed auto track transfer case i have three transfer case modes two wheel drive high four wheel drive auto and four wheel drive hot high and then train mode so basically it's it's well four but anyways who's counting so that's what that's a single speed transfer case and so if i go back and i go back to packages and let's say i add a off-road package, which I should be able to find right here. Off-road suspension package. I should still have the single speed transfer case, but let's see what I have. Because this it's a little funky when it goes and stuff. So that 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 yep, there it is. I have the two, excuse me, I have two speed auto track transfer case with that package. So if I go off-road, I get that package. Okay. Doesn't come standard, it's an option. If I go back to packages and I say, well, I I'm gonna go off-road, but I'm gonna take my boat with me to the lake, whatever I do, you know, I want to do it all together. I want to go off road, launch the boat, go play in the dirt. I want to have trailer trailing package. Plus, I want to have off road. When I click this button, it's going to say add whatever tires. I'm going to add. Let's say we we'll go twenties, and I'm going to add this, add that integrated trick controller. We talked about this. I'm going to remove the two speed auto track transfer case that comes off. The dual alt exhaust, we you saw, that goes away. I just have now, I'll have an exhaust hanging down. Hill descent control goes away. We talked about that as well. I have different tires. I now go back to 323 reaxle ratio. I have the smaller amp alternator, and I have the smaller GBWR. If I select that, and then I go to summary, and we go to mechanical. Okay. There it is, the single speed auto track transfer case. So now if you start with say, you go in the off-road trims. So the off-road trims, custom trail boss off-road trim, which is like a work truck, four wheel drive work truck basically. And the, the LT trail boss, you can see, this actually includes a, the a Z71 suspension with a two inch factory lift. So let's say I clicked on one of these off-road trims and I go to summary. And this vehicle will have the two-speed transfer case under mechanical, as it should. The two-speed automatic transfer case. I have four high, four low, all kind of stuff. 
Well, what's interesting with this truck is if you go back to packages, there is no max trailering package available. It doesn't mean exist. So you can't get max trailering package. You can't get the trailer brake control, that kind of stuff with that truck. You have to add it on, on your own aftermarket wise, which is rather frustrating unless you go with the high country that has four wheel low plus the max trailering package. I didn't say Z71 because <laughs> it doesn't. You can't you can't get Z71 max trailing package, and you only get four low with max trailing in the high country trim. What's different about that is when you go to say Ford, I'm gonna pick them up for example. I think Ram's the same way. I think Toyota's the same way. I think Nissan's the same way as well. I think they're all the same way. Is if you get just a, like a Lariat base trim, I can select the max trailer tow package, and I can select the FX4 off road package. And when I come up here and I look at some information that pops up and look at power and handling for this Lariat, I can go down and it's going to say a two-speed automatic transfer case. <laughs> it won't highlight it, but it says it right there. It says a two-speed automatic transfer case with a four-wheel drive system with neutral towing capability. It's four by four only. So yeah, if you get a four-wheel drive vehicle, you get two-speed transfer case in the Lariat trim with the max towing and with the FX4 off-road package. Now, that's the same thing that happened with my XLT Power Boost I had last year in the channel, or no, two years ago in the channel. I had an FX, FX, or FX4, or I had the I did an off-road package. I had an off-road package, plus I had the Power Boost, plus I had the Hybrid, plus I had the Power On Board, plus I, I mean, it was just everything. So it's a little frustrating for people wanting to shop for like Chevy Silverado, and I think GMC Sierra is the same way, to buy that new Silverado truck and get everything you want, but you can't. And it's frustrating that marketing or whoever's in management has decided to make that the line in the sand that you can't get a Z71 with a max trailing package, especially with today's world, already going off-road overlanding lots more uh, off-road trucks. It seems like it's kind of a no brainer to get it all together in one, but what do, I don't know. What are you guys thoughts? Put your thoughts down below. I'll read your comments. Please comment below. I'll check the videos over here and maybe check out the website, pickuptrucktalk.com. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road. Had to things were shaking <laughs> down the road. <laughs>